Hi everyone, bonjour, this is Shariq and welcome back to another lesson with Globetrot with Arabic. As I promised you yesterday, I will try to upload one lesson every day for a period of 30 days. So here I am um, preparing a small lesson, a tiny lesson in Lebanese Arabic, but it's a very useful lesson because we will learn a phrase that we commonly use in Lebanese Arabic. Before we begin, let me repeat the sentence that I've just said. I said, as I promised, I'm gonna place or put a lesson on YouTube every day for a period of 30 days. So, مثل ما وعدتكم راح حط درس جديد على يوتيوب كل يوم. Let's repeat this slowly. مثل ما, just like. مثل ما, because مثل means like. مثل ما means just like. مثل ما وعدتكم وعدت. Wa'adit means I promised. Wa'adit kun means I promised you in the plural. But when I put the kun in the end, I don't say wa'adit kun. I could, but it's more natural or native like if you pronounce it wa'ad kun very fast. Wa'ad kun, the D and the T together. So, mithil ma wa'ad kun, just like I promised you, rahat. Hot means to place or to put. I will put, or uh, in this case, I mean I will upload, but in Arabic we say rahat, I will put or I will place. Rahat dars jdeed. Dars means lesson, jdeed means new. Rahat dars jdeed. Kil yom, kil yom, every day. Rahat dars jdeed kil yom, a YouTube or ala YouTube, it's the same, a or ala. The a is the abbreviation of ala, which means on. A YouTube, kil yom. Every day, la middit tletin yom. La middit for a period of tletin yom, 30 days. La middit tletin yom. Let's repeat this faster. So, metal ma wa'at kun rahat dars jdeed a YouTube, la middit tletin yom. Let's begin. Khalina nbalish. Let's begin. Khalina means let's or let us. Khalina nbalish. Nbalish means we begin. Khalina nbalish. Okay, guys, today's question and sentence are. شو عامل اليوم؟ تعا تغدى عنا. Let me repeat. شو عامل اليوم؟ تعا تغدى عنا. I will say it slower. شو عامل اليوم؟ تعا تغدى عنا. And with Latin letters. شو عامل اليوم؟ تعا تغدى عنا. Let's break it down. Shu literally means what? Aimil again literally means doer. If we break this down, we will notice that we have a ain, the letter ain, the letter mean, and the letter lam. Aimil, if you join this together, aimil, it would mean he did. And in the present form, it's يعمل, he does. So this is actually the infinitive form of verb to do. عمل in the past and يعمل in the present. We use these actually as the third person and the infinitive. So عمل means he did or to do and يعمل means he does or verb to do. But here, as you notice, I'm not using عمل or يعمل. I'm using عامل عامل because what is added here as you can see let me use a bigger red here it's the alif عامل so this alif when you add it to the root you create what we call a participle and here the participle is used as the adjective عامل the person who does شو عامل اليوم when I translate this literally, I, it really doesn't make sense in English. It's like you are saying what, doer, masculine, today. Of course you don't mean that. What you mean is what are you doing today? So you're using it instead of the present continuous. What are you doing today? Or it also can mean what are you up to today? So, شو عامل اليوم? When you want to ask someone what are you up to, you can simply say شو عامل اليوم? What are you up to today? Ta'a tghadda anna. Ta'a is the imperative form. In the Arabic language, we have three forms of the imperative. The masculine, feminine, and the plural. 
Now this is the masculine form of verb to come. Come, ta'a. Ta'a, tredda. Tredda is the masculine form of verb to have lunch. Anna means at ours. That's why it means at, in our place, in our home. Ta'a, tredda, anna. Now, we will look at the feminine form of ta'a later on. And tredda, by the way, is not verb to have lunch as in English. In Arabic, we have the actual verb to lunch, verb to lunch. We have verb to lunch. I lunch, you lunch, he lunches. So here, when I say tredda, it's actually a verb in the imperative form and in the imperative masculine form. Tredda, masculine imperative. It's not have lunch. It's just I'm saying to someone, lunch with us. Ta'a come lunch with us. Ta'a anna, come have lunch in our place. Okay, now let's say the sentence one more time and the question and then we will move to the feminine form. What are you up to today? Come have lunch at ours. Let's look at the feminine form. شو عامل اليوم؟ تعي تغدى عنا شو عامل اليوم؟ تعي تغدى عنا I will say it faster شو عامل اليوم؟ تعي تغدى عنا Let's break it down If we look at our question شو عامل اليوم؟ اليوم doesn't change as you notice and شو as well it doesn't change What changed is عامل Why? Because we took عامل the participle, which was masculine. عامل is masculine. And we added the te marbuta to it. That's why it became عامل. And here, actually, there is a fatha. عامل. And in Latin letters, the te marbuta is represented with this e sound here. عامل. So, in the masculine form, it's عامل. In the feminine form, it's عامل. So, the difference is that if I write the masculine form here again, عامل, we're adding the e sound. But if you notice, I'm not saying عامل, I'm dropping this sound to make it sound more native. عامل, we're dropping it. So, شو عامل اليوم? What are you up to today? تعي تغدى عنا. If we look at تعي تغدى عنا, عنا is not changing at ours. Ta'i, of course, it's changing. And tghadde, again, is changing. Because ta'i is the feminine form, uh, of feminine imperative form of come. And tghadde is the feminine imperative form of have lunch. So in Arabic, you say come, lunch, at hours. It's not come, have lunch. It's translated as come, have lunch. But it's literally come, lunch, at hours. So, again, as we said, ta'a is masculine and ta'i is feminine. And tghadda is masculine. Tghadde, with the e in the end, tghadde, it's feminine. So, let's repeat. Shu aim li liyum? Ta'i tghadde anna. Shu aim li liyum? Ta'i tghadde anna. Let's say this in the plural form. It's, by the way, very common to say these in the plural form because in Arabic, in our culture, actually, we invite people a lot. And if we're inviting someone, most probably we're inviting the whole family, uh, more than two, three, four, five, who knows, maybe ten people even, okay? So, I will say it again faster. I will say it slower. شو عاملين اليوم تعو تغدو عنا with Latin letters شو عاملين اليوم تعو تغدو عنا Now, the شو and اليوم stay the same. They don't change in the sentence. What is changing is here the عملين. Why? We are adding the in in the end, which makes it plural. Every time you want to change a participle uh, into plural, 
you add the e and every want to um, and every time you want to change it into feminine you add the t marbuta in this case amil is masculine amlin is feminine and amle is uh, sorry amlin is masculine uh, amlin is plural and amle is uh, feminine شو عاملين اليوم what are you plural if you're talking to many uh, many people what are you guys doing basically today تعو تغدو عنا عنا doesn't change at ours تعو is the plural imperative form of come if you're talking to more than one person and you're telling them come to our house you will say تعو you add the o sound in the end usually for the imperative and تغدو you notice it's the same you're adding the o sound which is in the plural تغدو if you want to say to more than one person have lunch you say تغدو تعو تغدو عنا come in the plural تغدو عنا you can also by the way just say تغدو عنا you don't need to say come have lunch at ours you can say have lunch at ours تغدو عنا but generally speaking we like to say تعو تغدو عنا come over have lunch at ours تعو تغدو عنا so to finish this lesson let me just summarize that we have the participle عامل written also عامل with Latin letters if I want to change this into feminine I add the te marbuta which is represented with the e sound with Latin letters عامل and عامل now if I want to change it into plural I add the in plus in عاملين and here I add in, عاملين. This applies also to any other participle. You add the te marbuta to make it feminine, and you add the in to change it into plural. Now, when it comes to imperative forms, we have three imperative forms in Arabic, the masculine, the feminine, and the plural. In this case, we use two imperative adjectives. We used ta. We used ta'e and we used ta'o. And if you want to write them with Latin letters, it's ta'a, ta'e, and ta'o. And that's it. I think that's it for today. We will have another lesson tomorrow. And it's going to be also a brief lesson and we will also talk about little grammatical details just like we did here and there, just like today. I hope you enjoyed it. That's it for today and I'll see you tomorrow. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to write them in the comment box below and see you tomorrow. Bye! See you!